Have you ever thought in how many ways can you represent number five? Okay, today we're going to explore some of the ways that we can represent number five. Let me write it for you. This is the way that I learned number five. Good. Five. Five could also be represented by its word, its number word five. What time is it? It's five o'clock. We also have the dice that represents number five. And we have this other type of dice that helps us understand the number. Cinco is the word in Spanish for number five. High five, that's the way I greet my friends. And this other type of dice also represents number five. Let me see, do you think of other way that we can represent number five? Oh yes, I do. I can use counters. Let's count one, two, three, four, Five. Very good. Thank you very much for helping. Also, we can use base 10 blocks to represent the ones. One, two, three, four, five. Good job. This was an awesome job. There are other ways also that can, we, we can represent number five. Have you thought about coins? Yes, a nickel. Number five. It equals five cents. Do you know that each number has its own value? Ones, tens, and hundreds. Let's use these dice to represent the ones. And let's see what number we get. Oh, we got number three. Okay, that equals three ones. Let's represent number three using our ten frame and using counters in the ones place. One, two, and three. Very good. So that means that we have three ones. Let's use the 10 dice now and see how many 10s we have. Oh, look at that. Number 30, that equals three tens. Now let's represent the 30 on the 10 frame counting by tens. 10, 20, 30. Good job. Now let's go to the hundreds and let's see what number we got. We got 700 and that equals seven in the hundreds place. Let's count now using our 10 frame by hundreds. 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700. And this represents 733. 733, 733. Now, We'll be adding some numbers using dice, using counters, and using 10 frames. The 10 frame, this first one will be for the ones, for the tens, and the hundreds. Okay, let's find out our first magical number for today. Okay, we have 80 and 6. Let's write that number down. We have 8, 10, and 6 ones. And that number is 86. Okay, very good. Let's use counters to represent that number. On the ones frame, let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six ones. And now, let's look at number 80. And counting by tens, we have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. 80 and 6 represents number 86. Okay, let's add the second number now. Let's see what number we get. Okay, we have 9 and 0. 90 and 0. Okay, do we need to add any number to the ones? Any counters? No? Okay, do we need to add numbers to the 10? Yes, we have to add 9 counters to the 10th place. Let's get started. Okay, here we have our nine counters. Okay, okay, let's start adding our counters. One, two. Hmm, what happened? We can't add anymore. Okay, so we have a ten and tens that equals 100. So let's turn that to become 100. And what we will do is take those 10 out 
and we are going to place, we take them out and we place only one counter in the hundredth place because that means that we have a hundred and 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. Okay. Let's see what is our total for today. Okay, we are adding 90 to 86. Okay, and let's see what we have. In the ones place, we have six. In our tens place, we have seven. And in the hundreds place, yes, we have one. 176. That is the total number for today. Thank you for your help. Okay, do you think you can do one by yourself? I think you, you can. Let's give it a try, okay? So we're gonna use, I'm gonna roll the dice for you guys and we're gonna write an addition problem that you're gonna solve by yourself, okay? You have your counters and your 10 frames. Our first magic number is 64, 64. And our second number is 12. Okay, use your counters and have fun. You may start. <laughs>